Another day, another leak. This time it's with Nintendo again. Luckily, this time it doesn't affect your accounts, but rather source code and design files for the original Wii and more. Run that intro. There are leaks of old Pokemon games coming out. Source code for older consoles all being dumped online. What is going on? There are rumors that it's due to a company called Broadon that had the task of helping in the development of the Wii hardware and software. Their servers were hacked, exposing most of the information. So what exactly has been leaked? Block diagrams, data sheets for every system, very log files, GameCube, IQ content, some N64 demos have just recently been released as well. Some say more is being leaked over time and there could be potentially even more Nintendo documents being posted online. Although all of this hacking will land those behind it in trouble. Like the 21 year old Palmdale, California resident that was found guilty on January 31st, 2020 in US District Court in Seattle to federal crimes related to his computer hacking scheme. Ryan S. Hernandez, aka Ryan West, used the online moniker Ryan Rocks, pleaded guilty to two counts of information. However, even if those that partake in these types of activities get caught, sometimes it's a little too late and the damage is already done. But is the damage really that bad? Probably not at all. These leaks won't do much to Nintendo, as they have already released the Wii U and then went on to release the Switch. So the Wii is long gone and no longer being supported. It's an old system, old information was leaked. The Wii was released on November 16th, 2006 and was the 7th generation console. It has over 101 million units sold. Nintendo posted on their website that no more repairs will be performed after January 27th, 2020 with support in Japan ending on March 31st, 2020 unless they run out of stock earlier. So it's definitely a dead system with nothing for Nintendo to worry about. So does this help us gamers? Well, one of the plus sides of all of this access to confidential documents going into the hands of modders and homebrew community is great. This would give them access to everything on the Wii. This is great for us that like to tinker with our discontinued hardware and give it new life and allow it to continue breathing in our gaming collection. Emulators, extra games, homebrew, it's all great stuff. They are older systems, but there are many things that Nintendo did not want leaked out regardless. They have nothing to do with the current console or accounts, so we're safe. Nintendo still really, really needs to work on their security, even though this wasn't directly related to them, but more of an issue with a company called Broadon that worked closely with Nintendo. It's still a major leak. Come on Nintendo, two leaks in that short span of a time? Someone really needs to help them out with security and lock things up better. That's all the news we have for today, hope you guys enjoy, take care. See you guys next time.